All right, it's Saturday. It's funky weather out, and let's try to do something decent today. What do we got today? We've got venison roast packed by Chopped Eleven here in Wilson, New York. One of my three dough that I shot this past year. So we're going to go ahead and make a venison stew today. And I've still got some um, leftover four-ingredient bread that I made the other day. And uh, Benny's going to enjoy this, isn't he? He's, uh, he's eating his lunch right now over there. So here we go. Man, folks, you can't get better than a venison roast. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That beautiful, great meat. Look at that. No fat. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -mm -mm. And of course, Benny's hanging around because he's going to want some of this venison. He loves venison. Don't you bet. Let's do it. Let's get you another piece. Good boy. All right. We're going to season that up. Flour, salt, and pepper, and garlic only. And we're going to go ahead and brown it off. And we're going to use a little smoked paprika. Mix that all in there well. And of course, I do use sea salt. Uh, next time I buy salt, I'll be buying Celtic. Get that all uh, nice and look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yep. From field to the table. Well, cutting board to the flour to the pot. I get it all breaded by itself here and then uh, put it over here in the pan. Once again, I did 45 years in food service. I'm not, uh, I'm not particular anymore. We're going to brown that up, and then the next step. Oh, as Emerald says, don't you wish you had smell a vision <laughs> And then as that's cooking, um, I've got some still raw pieces here um, in the water, and I'm going to make my, uh, like an as you, and I'm going to add... Some more liquid smoke and some little Worcestershire sauce, or as I used to call it because I couldn't pronounce it, probably still can't. WC sauce, and I'll use that after I make uh, brown this off and get uh, get it going. Make my roux. Um, I'll use this into the roux. Roux, R O U X, oil, flour, roux. Thickening. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Benny's over here going crazy. Aren't you, Ben? Ben's going crazy, huh? Yeah. Daddy, where's where's that beef? Where's the beef? Or in this case, where's the venison? That's looking really, really good. And I did cheat a little bit. I put some chopped garlic in here. Love garlic. I'm actually growing garlic this time of year for the first time this year. I planted it in the fall. Let me show you what I'm growing in the window. So my neighbor had a friend gave her some of these uh, yard onions, I guess you call them, and uh, they took root. So I'm going to I'm going to plant them and see what happens. But uh, yeah, I've got a little garden going on in my window here. Uh, got some. Uh, Rosemary going too, and well, let's get back to the venison stew. Woo! Oh, that smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. So while that's going, some baby carrots here that are extra. That I'm I used up all the carrots in the garden about a month ago from last summer. 
fall harvest. And uh, I'm going to cut those up. Cut up baby carrots, celery, of course, and an onion. Always save them till last, and you know why. Mise en place. Venice's look, venison's looking good. So we're going to, same flour that we breaded it with, put a little bit more in there. We're going to let that brown up just a bit. This has been going for about 30 minutes. This is looking real good. Mm -mm -mm. Venison stew for Saturday night dinner. Oh, and then I made some uh, homemade brownies last night. Wow. Yeah, half the pan's gone. All right, back to the venison. Yeah. Get all those good crummies off the bottom. Look how that already got thick. Now, I did save a little roux on the side to make it thicker. And we're just going to let that, we're going to turn the, uh, as Emerald says, nothing has to be on high, you know, turn it down. So we're going to turn it down a little bit. And we're just going to let that sit there and simmer for a while. Probably for about at least 45 minutes to an hour. Maybe even a little lower. And yes, the kitchen is open. All right. Look at that. Let's see. Oh. Mm. Oh, sorry, Case. But you know, you know catfish. He's got to stick his fingers in there. I know how much you just love people licking their fingers. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, we're just going to let that get those, all that good stuff off the bottom. All right. Well, then we just pop the vegetables in. We've let this simmer for about an hour. I don't peel the potatoes anymore. That's where all your vitamins are anyway. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Ooh, look at that. I'm going to put a lid on it. Let that simmer for another hour. And then it's dinner time. And let's take a peek. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks wonderful. Let's try that piece right there. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, fresh, so tender. All right, folks, gotta go. Dinner time. And tonight, I think uh, I have a nice glass of wine tonight. So, should we go with the Boxer Blush or the new one? Niagara Landings Winery. Misty Niagara. I, I think I think I'm going to go with the Niagara. Yeah, that's the ticket. Oh, yum. Look at that. A nice glass of wine. Folks, it don't get much better than this. Fresh, fresh four ingredient bread. All right, gotta go eat dinner.